Hey guys, Mike Giles here from Black Knight Studios and today I wanted to talk about how small details can make a really big difference when you're designing a website. Um, if you've ever tried to mimic or duplicate a website before, one of a really popular website out there, you saw something that you liked and you tried to mimic it in one of your own designs. Um, if you've ever run into the issue of it just didn't look quite as polished, it didn't look quite as good as the thing that you were trying to duplicate, um, I want to go over a few techniques that might help you um, make that transition and to make your sites a little bit more professional, a little bit more polished. Um, you know, a lot of times it's something very simple, very easy to do. It's just if you don't know about it, it's uh, hard to duplicate it on your own. So, um, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. I've been making websites for about six years now. And over the years, I've come across a few techniques that really helped me take my sites to the next level, and I wanted to share them with you today. So, let's get started. So I want to start off by showing you guys um, a few techniques that some of the most popular websites out there use and then in the next video I'm going to go into actual details of the process of how to implement those techniques into your website and into your workflow. Um, and so I'm going to start off with Facebook. Uh, and so as you can see, uh, one of the things that Facebook does is they have this one pixel border that goes right along the bottom of the header. Um, and they also have this one pixel border along the sides of the content. Um, running vertically to break up the space and so the thing so what this does for a website um, if you're going to be using a white background just a plain white background it's important to break up your space effectively and this one pixel border really allows you to add some depth to your website and to break up the space effectively um, and it's just it's a it's a really good way and super easy way to bring that little bit of professionalism and that little bit of polished look and feel to your website um, it's something that many designers just overlook, um, you know, and if you were to sit down with a beginner uh, web designer or even, you know, someone um, a little bit more advanced or just uh, an average web designer, you know, and have them mimic this site, let's look and feel and try to like kind of copy, you know, the aesthetic of this site, that's one of the things that they probably overlook um, more often than not. And it's just a super simple thing um, that's super easy to do that, you know, I just want to point out because many people overlook it and it's something that I wish I had known about a lot sooner. Um, another site that uses this same technique is Target. Um, and, you know, it almost kind of looks like a drop shadow here, or like a, a very subtle drop shadow, you know, but whether or not it's a drop shadow or a one pixel border doesn't really matter. For our purposes, it uh, it's the same thing. You know, they're just allowing their website to get a little bit more depth and just to break up the space. Um, they have even a dotted one pixel line breaking up the space here, which is just as effective. You know, you can use either. Um, but, you know, again, if you're going to use these white backgrounds, it's important to realize that you need to break up the space in a different way. You know, if you're not going to have a background image for this, this content panel here, you need to break up the space somehow. And one way to do that is with one pixel border. And I think it's one of the most effective ways to do it. Another site that I'm going to look, talk about and uh, another technique that I'll get into in a later video is uh, Apple.com. And, you know, Apple is known for their clean, professional, modern look, you know, whether it's their products or their website or the building where they actually sell their products. They're known for this very clean, very sleek design. And one of the ways that they make this come to life on their website is by adding this very glossy, kind of sleek Web 2.0, if you want to call it. Um, navigation menu and what they've done here is they've um, added uh, some slight gradients and then um, some sort of uh, a white overlay that's uh, sort of fading to give the illusion of depth and um, to give it this very clean professional look so that's a technique I'll get into in a later video but I just wanted to point it out because it's something that um, you know many people may not really notice right offhand and this is a little bit more obvious than the one pixel border I talked about uh, in the last for the last two websites but it's something that um, you know if you didn't really know it was like a technique or something that you maybe have noticed but didn't really understand how to do it or um, why people did it you know I'll tell you right now it's, they do it because it adds depth to their website and um, and I can show you in a later video how to do it uh, the next site I'd like to go over is the Coca-Cola website, um, you know, and what what I like about this site is that they have this very slight, very faded um, hint at the sky up here, uh, and I think, you know, over the years I've learned that adding that little bit of um, 
light blue to the top of your page and uh, the illusion of the sky really allows your site to open up and become a little bit more welcoming and a little bit more friendly and um, it's, it's a more pleasant experience when you're on the website and then if you scroll down they kind of come full circle where with the uh, implementation of some grass down here um, you know and in my opinion it's a little bit it stands out a little bit too much but you know it's all uh, just my opinion um, you know and I think they do a great job in whether or not they implement it well um, the concept is very well done and it's it's uh, well thought out um, you know and it's something that a lot of websites use and if if it can work for you then or a, a, one of your clients then great and it's just something to have in the back of your mind um, and just kind of like have it in your checklist of things like you know if you're starting a new website maybe this is something you want to try uh, the next site is this Gatorade website and what they do effectively here in my opinion is again it's with the background and they have this very subtle um, kind of hint at a spotlight back here and what this does is again it just adds a little bit of depth and it allows their content to stand out you know otherwise it would just be a completely black background and it just wouldn't break up the space well it wouldn't highlight the content well it wouldn't add depth it'd be a very flat website but this spotlight allows the site to stand out a little bit more just enough to look professional and clean and a little bit different than the average website um, and it's just that's one effect that you can use on almost any site um, to really let it get to the next level and the last site I want to go over is box.com um, and again I'll put uh, all the URLs for all these sites in the uh, description box but they're all very popular sites so um, you know I probably don't need to do it for most of them but for box you know box.com maybe you haven't heard of it before um, but in the footer here what they what I like about it is what they've done is they've added a very subtle very very subtle uh, texture to the background here and what that does is, is it um, allows you to kind of comp uh, finish off the the website's design with this footer here and it um, adds you know a little bit of texture a little bit of depth and just breaks up the space very nicely and um, you know in its own way kind of comes full circle with this kind of a uh, little bit darker um, footer here and that's a technique um, that I can get into but it's just adding a pattern to the uh, overlay of one of your shapes when you're designing a website and again that's um, a technique that I'll go over in a later video but I just wanted to point it out here and you know if any of these techniques interest you guys um, just look through my channel and you know find the the relevant videos and you know feel free to just rewatch them or whatever and um, you know even leave a comment um, in the video below the video if I didn't go into detail enough in the video and I'll try to help you walk through and try to teach you how to use those um, techniques effectively um, actually one more thing that I wanted to go over if we go back to the uh, Apple website is they um, one other thing that they do that I'm going to go into in one of my tutorials is they have this kind of um, outer glow or drop shadow it really it could be either um, depending on what you want to do but to the text um, you can see if you look super closely you can see that they have this dark gray kind of drop shadow appearing right above the text and that's one very common technique that allows your text to kind of look like it's um, embed embedded in its background and that's a very important thing to know how to do because it's something I use all the time and if you look closely it's something that you know websites all all over use this and um, it's a very important technique and it's something that I like to use and I want to share with you guys so um, be on the lookout for some more videos to come in the future but for now hopefully it helped you that I pointed them out to you and uh, you know as you move along with your design um, hopefully these are some techniques that you can try to use in the future but thanks for watching guys and uh, look out for more videos soon thanks